Good morning. I'm Nick Myers, head coach of the Ohio State uh, men's lacrosse team as well as the U19 national team. We're going to take you around and show you some of the facilities that we have here at the Ohio State University and you know what we use and certainly what the, the national team will be using this weekend. Let's go. We've played 16 games in here, the Buckeyes. Uh, we're fortunate the facility's been good to us. We'll play the first game or two in here and then we'll go over to Ohio Stadium and play the rest of our home games. But for our men, this is where we start. We'll train, we'll work out, practice, whatever it may be, and then we'll go right down to the football weight room. All right, and that's where we've been training for almost 10 years. So we're gonna take you down there, give you an inside look at there, and then we'll show you the rest of our space. Here we are, we're in the football weight room. Uh, this is a space that now for over, going on almost 10 years, going back to the former staff of Coach Trestle and now Coach Meyer, uh, we'll be very grateful. We're really the only other team that uses this space. Right now, we're in here three days a week. Uh, just over 10,000 square feet. Again, really great space. Very humbling for our men to come in here, work out, train. Uh, it's not rare to have some of the guys in here get an extra lift in, maybe even some of the NFL guys back on their bye week. But to come into this space, have the opportunity to train in here three, four days a week is something that uh, we're really fortunate to have and it's what being a Buckeye is all about. What a beautiful morning here in Columbus. As you look out here, you can see the two turf fields. We got the film towers, we got the lights. We spend a lot of time on this turf. All right, this is where the men will train in the fall and in the spring as we prepare for our competitive season. Next, I'm gonna take us over here to the, the sand pit. I like to refer to this as Buckeye Beach. The men will call the Oval Buckeye Beach, but this is a space, again, another training area just off our fields. We'll get in here, men that maybe are working back from an injury, it's a place where they can train, get some extra work in. Uh, off-season training, a lot of the things that we do from a speed school standpoint will be done here in the, in the sand, Buckeye Beach. I think what we're really proud of is just the ability to have these incredible facilities, but also the opportunity to have it so accessible for our men. Our next stop is the fuel zone. Fuel zone is about a year old. Uh, this has been a difference maker for our men. So you can imagine right now being a morning team, they come in the off-season, 7 a.m., 7.15, they meet Miss Sarah, our nutritionist here. You got breakfast sandwiches, you got sushi, you got some sausage, egg and cheeses, you got yogurts, you got some naked juice. Just about everything you can grab, grab and go with. Uh, your almonds, your banana chips, so healthy snacks for the men. But they'll come in, grab something before practice, before we train, you know, maybe burn a thousand calories or so, and then come out, get your muscle milks, get your snacks, refuel, and then make their way over to campus. So, this is all paid for by the athletic department and been a real difference maker for us in terms of the commitment to our student athletes. As we enter the locker room here, you can see this is a space for our men to call home. We're grateful, you know, give a shout out to our 11th man, you know, our folks that really take great care of us in terms of helping us support the program and do special things for our men. You can see we got Sports Center on back here, we got the Xbox, we got the sound system. Uh, this is just a great space, you know, you got the, the wall dedicated to that rivalry that we, uh, we talk a lot about here at the University. That's our countdown clock, a great quote by Coach Hayes, uh, us walking out in Ann Arbor, uh, the second year that we have there. So, we got four, four wins on that team up north going for number five this year. As we transition around the locker room, you can see we refer to this as the hot corner. This is not a space that you want to be. These guys are fighting their way out so we compete from a GPA standpoint for the best lockers in the locker room. You got first team all conference award winners around the room. This is our locker room space. We'll move on to our next stop. All right, here we are in the Buckeye equipment room. I got my friend Coach Bergie here, Director of Operations here at the Ohio State University for Men's Across. Uh, we're very fortunate we're sponsored by Nike STX. This right here is Men's Across. You got stuff on both sides. Uh, as you kind of look here, you can see some of the, the goods the men get from practice gloves to game day gloves. A lot of our custom stuff's coming in. The men back here, when we, when we travel, they all have their own number of bins. So you can see some of the travel suits, cleats up there waiting. We got new jerseys on the way. Those are some of the jerseys that we've worn in the past. But when we travel, the men will come up to this window right here. Mr. Mike will open it up, get them hooked up for the weekend, whatever they need. They break a head, stick, shaft. Coach Berge takes care of them, makes sure they got everything they, they need in that sense. So, again, really thankful to have the best sponsorship in college across here with STX and Nike. So to finish this off, as I said, you have the assistant coaches space there, director of operations, our brain room back there, where, where we do all our practice planning, meeting with our, our student athletes. Finally, you got our space, okay? 
This is an area that I, I personally call home. Great space to meet with families when they're here for the weekend to experience Ohio State. And as we transition over here, I feel like we got one of the better views in, in college athletics. You know, uh, a great space, you know, just again, a, a, a kind of an observation opportunity right here from my desk. Hey, that's going to conclude our tour. Grateful for the opportunity to share a little bit of Buckeye Nation with you this morning. Thanks, Go Bucks. And I really have no regrets coming out here, and it's just a choice that I'm really happy I made. Because if you were going to ask me freshman or sophomore year of high school uh, before I made that decision, if I would ever think about going somewhere or playing right away, and I would have said no to you. So I'm just super happy I made that. Um,